I'm going to pull a couple cards from Spark. And we're going to see... We're going to see what, what, what we can actually get out of this. This will be more fun because it's meant to have, like, have conversations and bring up like topics and talking pieces. But I'm just going to open this up. Oh, shit. I'm going to open this up. I'm just going to try pulling a random card and we'll see what it sparks okay oh shit what are you most grateful for in life <sighs> um probably f probably friends and family i mean i know that's more than one but when I say that, I say family probably more, but my friends to me are, are a part of my family. So it's like friends and family, just like being able to spend time with people I love and have fun with. I think that's probably what I'm most grateful for, for sure. All right, let's go for another one. Tell me about a goal that you've already turned into reality. Already turned into reality? Uh, shit. <sighs> Starting a YouTube channel? I mean, that, that, was, that was a goal of mine in high school for a long time. So, I guess even just being able to do that and be here with you guys and, like, start a podcast slash, like, YouTube channel. Like, YouTube channel was the first one. Eventually, I was like, man, I want to do a podcast. So, those kind of erupted into two things. And just being able to do this was a goal. Card number three. Who would you be if we never met? Guys, I don't have another person. Shit. Um, if I never met you guys, I don't know. I'd probably be the same little shit. Uh, I, I, see, this is meant for people, so we're, we're just trying. What is one thing you could do to seek discomfort this month? <sighs> oh, I just blew into the mic. I'm sorry. Um... I could do an ice bath. Oh, I could do an ice bath. I might do an ice bath. It's something I talked about. I think I might do that. I've never actually done one. I mean, I do cold showers, but ice bath is a little fucking different. So I think I'll do that. What's your favorite memory of this past year? So if we'll just go 2022, make it easy. Um, shit. Favorite memory of the past year? Oh no. Uh, probably going out to Oregon and seeing Noah, just like that whole trip, like just going hiking, do going to the beach, like kind of exploring Oregon. Other than that, I can't think or pinpoint any single memory. So I'll probably say that either that or the concerts I've been to this year, just because it's been a lot of fun in general, but also like great memories, but also going with friends and having a good time. So probably just that in general. What's your favorite quote? Uh Oh, uh oh, this is like one of my worst fears because I don't, I'm not very good at remembering quotes. What's something you're dealing with that no one really knows about? What's something I'm dealing with that no one knows about? Um, hmm, I would say. I would almost say I'm still kind of struggling to find my place in this world, I guess. Like, in the sense of, like, this is what I want to do, but, um, I don't know, like, trying to figure this out and just, like, struggling to stay motivated at times and really, like, do more and be, be persist persistent and try to do more than others like in the sense of like 
I want to succeed and do well with the stuff I've involved in when it comes to this, when it comes to learning, when it comes to exercise, when it comes to doing shit, I want to better myself. And there's times that I definitely lack, but I feel like everyone does, but that I feel like that's probably the best thing. Either that or just like being by myself at times. That's a, that's a big one. I do love being by myself, but I don't necessarily, like I kind of told you last week, I don't necessarily hang out with people very often. The main people I hang out with, I guess, are like my mom and closer family. But when it comes to friends, I don't necessarily hang out with people very often. And then my sister being at college, she's she's definitely one of my best friends. So it, it is kind of weird. And I guess I, I'm kind of struggling with that, just not being able to like do stuff with friends. But that that's where like last week going to that concert with my buddies was actually a lot of fun and kind of an eye opener. So I'm, I'm hoping to kind of change that. Like, I, I wish I had someone that I knew that was also interested in the same shit I am. And I don't necessarily, I've never necessarily had that yet. So I guess that's kind of part one of those. I don't know. I feel like it could have been deeper, but at the same time, I was just trying to think of something that kind of works. I don't know if there's anything I've like really been struggling with but that that's something what is something others couldn't know about you just by looking at you <laughs> couldn't know about me just by looking at me um well fuck <laughs> this is hard i guess something someone couldn't couldn't know about me just by looking at me I guess my childhood and like my past I, I don't know if that's the right answer to the question but like in the sense of like you don't you guys so far haven't I've never gotten into like my childhood a bit and like I've come from a divorced family and I've dealt with depression and anxiety and and shit for a while and and i had some rough moments as a child in just growing up and being around and in, in, in certain situations it's definitely not as bad as some other people but in my own life like everybody struggles with shit and deals with their own stuff and it's hard for everybody in their own situations so it's like I can't compare it to some other people but I guess that's one thing where you wouldn't realize some of the shit I've actually been through and some of the life experiences I've had considering how I look and then I do I am very outgoing and happy and optimistic about 95% of the time. And so you wouldn't necessarily know that I, I've dealt and been in those dark places before, I guess. Would you like to marry someone just like you? <sighs> I, Ooh, fuck. Yes and no. I don't like, I would want someone similar to me, but I do not want to marry the same person. Because I feel like that's just too much. I, I Like, you have to have, uh, I feel like, a respectable amount of, like, separation between each other's personalities. But I would like to have someone that I have similar interests and personality aspects with to an extent. Like, not the same, but similar. I feel like that's fair. What's something about your current life that you'll miss when you're 80 years old oh shit uh, about my current life that I'll miss when I'm 80 uh, fuck I, I think I think one will probably just be my youth but I think everybody will miss that but I think the biggest thing is probably going to be just in general time missing that ability to have time to look forward to and and to change change how you live your life but at that point possibly my my parents my grandparents possibly friends I, that's very dark but that's probably god honest truth on that one family but yeah I mean, I do like this. This is actually really cool. It'll be a lot more interesting when I'm able to actually do this with another person.